Why shouldn't I be heading off to the local kiosk and just, just stocking up on them and just hoping I can be a player in this, this big road to riches? Well, first off, you're not going to be a player because the odds of winning Mega Millions are 1 in 175 million. Oh, so like good odds. <laughs> buy, if you buy, say, 20 tickets instead of buying one ticket, you don't actually make yourself a player. You don't, appreciate, you don't appreciably change your odds. And I'm not trying to be a total party pooper here. I mean, I'm not a big fan of lotteries. I don't buy tickets myself. I, I have never bought a lottery ticket. But I understand the value of playing what-if games. Of, there, there's a lot to be said for having hope, etc. The problem comes up that people are throwing a lot more money at this. And the fact is, you don't get more hope for the second ticket. You don't get more excitement for the second ticket, etc. Your return on a ticket that I'm in the game, that sense of unplaying, I've got a chance, etc., well, that occurs when you buy the first ticket, and that diminishes dramatically with each subsequent ticket. So you're not really getting any right. expected return. I mean, you are you're doing statistically insignificant amounts, right? You're obviously getting incrementally a greater chance, correct? Well, I mean, talking yeah, minuscule but here, but amounts. But here's what I'd like to point out. Okay. okay, the reason that I don't buy lottery tickets is that your chance of winning the Mega Millions jackpot is roughly. 0.0000000001. Now, my chance of finding the winning ticket yeah. is about the same as that. Right. Because my chance, because my chance of of winning without buying a ticket is only nine zero. Look at all and these. Look at it. You're not probably seeing the images right. we're seeing here. We're just seeing a road, a, a parade of people holding up their mega checks, with big smiles on their faces. The lotteries are just, you know, they're there for, for joy and it's happiness all, and good cheer. It's I think. all about yeah. a dream. <laughs> it's a dream. Chuck, you're you're, st you're at stealing at a time the dream. At a time when people can't save, when people don't have enough money, again, it's not about playing the lottery. Put your dollar in, or you know, if you're giving up your latte, I don't worry about it. Right. But let's be perfectly honest here. Lotteries, to a great extent, are a tax on the poor. Right. That's who winds right. up buying the tickets. And the truth is, if they spent five bucks less on the lottery every week, they could throw that towards a Roth IRA. And these are lifetime habits. And the other thing yeah. is that people buy lottery tickets with the same bad habits they use with stocks. They're, you're thinking you're getting a better return. You know, things like, hey, if that convenience store has sold the last winning ticket, I'll go there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really? always feel a little uncomfortable with the ads you see on the, on the subway, for example, you know, that kind of rich. You know, we've got... We taxpayers basically exploiting the poor with this. Come on, you have a chance here. Of course, I, I like, as Chuck's pointing out, there ain't like, no chance. Really. I like Chuck's last point though about the. Uh, it's sort of like the, how investors always chase performance, and and if I go to if I go to where the the last winning ticket was sold. <laughs> well, how about this one? How about this one? Let's say that you normally play your regular numbers. You play, you know, your birthdays right. and your kids' birthdays or whatever. And now you're going, you know, that has not won the lottery for me. Right. So I'm going to change my strategy. I'll just go in and have them do a pick six or whatever. You know, have the computer pick it. Mm. Psychologically, you almost have to then go and buy the ticket with the family numbers. Why? <laughs> because you have to avoid regret. And if those numbers came up and they're in your head, you know them, you would be like, oh, my goodness, I would have won. But now I've got to buy extra tickets right. just to avoid regret. But from a statistical point of view, every time the dice is rolled, it is has equal chances of being what the previous one was, right? Or not being what the previous one was. So this idea of having the same number as every time, from a statistical point of view, doesn't help you at that at that very moment, correct? No. Every every single every single ticket has the exact same right. odd. With one other exception that people don't recognize, which is in a lottery like this one where you've now gotten over five hundred million, they will sell enough tickets that they actually change the odds because theoretically mm. you could have every combination covered more than once or you could have you know popular numbers if you think I'll only use birthdays for example mm. that narrows your window of numbers to choose from so if you wound up with all the numbers coming in you could have that that potential where suddenly instead of having one winner there's six winners all right so one now, last instead one last of doing well like you would have if you had entered this lottery say at 200 million you're getting less than that because there are so many people playing at 500. Mm -hmm. one, one last quick question, Chuck. You're not going to bet a dollar to try to win a half a billion. Absolutely not. But <laughs> I will look to see if anyone else has discarded lottery tickets. And if so, I will pick them up and see if the numbers were winners.